Hi guys, Ready Set RC, and today we have the Maverick Quantum R Flux. This is a 4S rated, ready to run, 8th scale RC. It is water resistant, it's brushless, it's more designed for on road, but I think you could take this a little bit off road, have a little bit of hooning action with it. Comes with a few molded extra bits to give you a little bit more of that realism to it. So let's get into the Quantum R Flux and see what it's all about. So in typical fashion guys, let's go over what you get in the box. So these are the extra bits that I was talking about. Kind of to change it up over here in the front end of the truck. They do have stickers on here now and it feels like there are already pre-drilled holes in there as well. And I'll take the body off and show you guys underneath. And as I said, the molded bits that they have and the intercooler to put in there with it. So give you an antenna holder, but I, I hope you don't need this. We'll see when we're opening this up. I have not taken the body off yet, so we'll see for the first time together. The HPI app information. I've never used this, guys, but they put this in with a lot of their, their RCs. This is an app to aid you in buying your RCs from HPI directly. I, you know, as I said, I've never used it, but I've remembered this being in almost every HPI, and this is my first Maverick, but Maverick is under the HPI umbrella. Uh, as I said, it comes with almost every HPI out there. And the quick start guide. Seems very basic compared to some of the HPI manuals I've had in the past. This definitely falls short, but it's, I know why. There's a different cost point to this, and I understand that they're trying to save money. So, you know, definitely I will say you know, there's, there's, there's some cool stuff in here, but I'll say I, I see why, I see where they are trying to save the dollars on this RC. I definitely see that in regards to the material that they're providing. And they give you a nice little blowout. And you know, you can't complain about that. There is a nice little blowout of the truck. Pretty sure you could probably get that online as well, but I'm glad to see that they're providing that too. And then, outside of the control which i'll show you in a minute but that's it guys i don't know if this is geared towards the the newbie out there because yo newbies would need at least some rudimentary tools take the hexes off do some wrenching on the car in the beginning if they run into any issues none there are no tools for this so if this is geared towards the noob probably gonna need to get some tools before you start taking this out and about Going on to the controller, yeah, it's a very basic controller. I don't think I've had this type of control. As I said, I've never owned a Maverick RC before, and in regards to the typical HPI type controllers I get, uh, they don't look like this. But this controller feels really good in the hand. It's got a nice foam wheel. It's, you know, the throttle feels good. It takes four double A's. It, it does the parts, a three channel controller. You have the on off switch here in the back. Your settings flip up here. It has the reverses of your steering, your throttle. Also has your EPAs here on the second channel. It has a bind button over here as well. Uh, you have your channel settings over here to set your trims. On the dual, you have your dual rate uh, setting right here. You have your channel one and two, which is your steering and your throttle. You can set those over here, your trims. And the third channel is right here by your thumb. And that's where the third channel is going to be. So it feels good. I mean, it, it covers the basics. I don't, I don't think there's anything crazy to be missed on it. It's a 2.4 gigahertz controller. I'm not, I'm not hating it. I, I actually like how it feels. I'll probably keep that at first with this car and then you know I'll most likely put my own stuff on there. But for first, we're gonna run, run it the way it is. And then that's it, here we are with the body, guys. And the body looks a lot better in person. When I saw this online, the first thing I thought about is an infraction. I gotta say, this doesn't look that bad, guys. I'm actually liking it. And I wanted the red for one reason, that probably the all gray one is gonna be the first one out of all of them. I thought the blue was a little too much going on. But the one thing about the red is that I can see it from a distance and that I wanted on this one. I wanted something that at least pops out that I can see from a distance. So that was my reason why I went with the red. Now it's got these cool 
molded bits on here in regards to they're just it's just all looks there is no real support for that you got the side mirrors over here they don't bend or move but i don't see them getting damaged or anything like that what i do see in getting damaged if anything is you flip this thing up on the on its lid there are no skids on the roof and i wish that was one thing that they would have put on there the rear here is the rear is a another lexan piece and yeah it it feels the part. I mean, it's not flimsy, but it is Lexan and it feels good, guys. The rest of the body does not feel flimsy. It feels good. You see those mirrors are fixed with a body pin and we can see all of the other pieces are screwed in. So you got the Lexan wing in the back that's screwed in. That's also screwed in. And then you have the molded bits in the front also screwed in. And like I mentioned before, you have these pre-drilled holes to put your turbos here. For your intercooler up here in the front, they're also pre-drilled. So you got everything pre-drilled for you. That's pretty cool. Everything is already pre-drilled and ready for you to go ahead and mount your, your bits onto this car. But let's go over the Quantum R Flux in all of its glory. And if you guys were looking for something that, that this would be compared to, I'd have to say it's probably going to be compared to the new arm of vendetta and the reason why is because once we go through this you're going to see that there are some similarities when i get the vendetta in i'll compare this with the vendetta and you guys can see what the differences are head to head between the two cars size and also chassis layout so on the quantum r you have a nice splitter coming off the front and that is attached to the foam bumper they have adjustable body mounts up here in the front off the foam bumper and then that leads into the bulkhead. The bulkhead on this car is plastic and so is the shock tower. The shocks, you have a metal shock cap, a, also a metal collar to screw down the shocks. These are screw down shocks. They're coil over. I can't tell if the bodies on the shocks are also metal, but if they are, that's a pretty good find for, for RC at this point. You have pillow ball suspension up in the front. CVA drive shafts also up in the front. So you have camber and toe adjustments up in the front. Metal tie rods also up in the front as well. Looks like that Ackerman bar too on the car is also metal. There's a servo saver on this RC with a composite chassis brace coming off in the front. The chassis itself is also composite, but it does feel sturdy guys. Hex screws throughout the RC. You have a dog bone going from the front differential over to the to the center differential. The center differential, you have a plastic spur gear, but the motor mount assembly is all metal and is a sliding mount adjustment. Coming off to the rear, you have a dog bone going from the center differential to the rear differential and a composite chassis brace on there too. In the rear, wow, this is nice guys. In the rear, you also have a pillow ball suspension. That is sweet. Wow. There is camber and toe adjustments in the rear too. Wow. That is nice. Shocks are the same, com same components on the shocks for the front and also for the rear. So you also have a, for the, on the rear shocks, you also have a metal shock cap. The collars are also metal. Coilover shocks. Yeah, they look good. They look really good, guys. And then you have the adjustable body mount system up in the rear. There is also a composite diffuser coming off in the rear. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. The shock tower in the rear, too, is also composite. Servo on this, they state, is water resistance. It's the, it is the MS-15MG WR servo. And the motor on this is a flux. It's a 3674 size 2250 kV motor. And the ESC, as I stated before, is 4S rated. I don't think you want anything more than that, but it's a 4S rated ESC. It looks like a rebranded hobby wing that's on this. It looks like I may just need that antenna tube. <laughs> Heat sink, heat sink coming off the motor. For the shocks in the front, you have three adjustments available to you up top. Looks like two adjustments down below. In the rear, you have the same three adjustments on the top, two adjustments down below. As for the tires on here, these are belted tires, directional tires. They are belted, 
they have a 17 millimeter hex to keep them on and they feel good guys. Underneath you can see how the airflow is set up on this. There is a slight kick up in the front uh, with that splitter coming off the front. There is a hole for air to kind of flow through. But there is one as you start to get to the diffuser over here in the rear. I thought the battery tray would be adjustable, but it is not. It looks like the screws are set. I'll have to see how that's going to fit packs, but it looks about the average size of packs. You know, it gets compromised with the size that's in here. Wire mounting system is nice and neat. Everything is clean in a way. I wish this servo wire was a little bit more tucked under, but I don't see where it's going to cause a problem with the dog bone drive shaft that's there. This, I don't know why, is on this car. We have a T-plug Dean's connector for a 4S RC. Wish that was at least XT90 at the minimum. Um, this is where I will be swapping this and getting rid of this. Dean's, I don't run Dean's on cars this big. Uh, but it looks the part, guys. This thing looks the part. Yeah, I, I, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed and I wanna see how this performs. I'm gonna see how this performs on 4S, may run it on 3S and see how it does, but I'm liking what I see so far. So guys, I had to scour through my collection and try to see what do I have to compare to the Quantum R Flux before getting the Vendetta. And this is by far as close as I have in my collection. I didn't wanna bring out a monster truck because I think a monster truck, yeah, it's, it's, it's not the same. It's just not the same. So. This is my Traxxas rally car. This is based off of the Slash chassis. Yes, it's based off a Stampede chassis, which is also a monster truck, but in this one, it is pretty much as close as you are going to get to a Quantum R Flux right now. This is set up to run 4S. This is set up for on-road specific driving with a little bit off-road to it. This thing is also a, a composite chassis. It does come brushed, but I, as I said, I'm running it with 4S metal drive shaft. It is very close to what you're seeing on this. I was gonna say, except that this is not running a center diff, but it is. This is also running a center diff in this, in this as well. So we have two vehicles that we can compare nicely to. I'm gonna do it for size on this video. You guys know how I do but maybe we'll do a shootout. Let me know in the comments. If you guys wanna see a shootout with the Quantum R Flux and the Traxxas Rally, let me know. But those of you that have been following me, you know all about this car. But as for size, they're pretty much spot on. But as you guys can see between the two cars, and here we are guys in regards to width, and these widths between the two cars is spot on. We have the Quantum R Flux down here on the bottom. We have the Traxxas Rally up here on the top. And as I stated before, they are spot on. Let's get one more angle for you guys to see and get a better idea as to what the wheelbase looks like between the two cars. And here we are guys. You can see the wheelbase is the same again. So this car, so this Quantum R Flux is pretty much spot on with the specs in regards to size, in regards to the width, and also in regards to the overall wheelbase of the two cars. I'm gonna even give you guys one other thing to go home with on this before we close this out. So there you are guys. I mean, you'll have to do some trimming to the body and this body is one of the hardest bodies to find from the Traxxas lineup at this time. Uh, but you, if you change up the body mounts on this, the Rally body fits the Quantum R Flux. You'll have to adjust some of the mounting in regards to the front, also here in the rear, because the diffuser is definitely rubbing on the rear of the car, but it works. It works. And I'll be honest with you, it don't look half bad, guys. I'm really liking that. Me, I'm not gonna mess with it because I know how hard it is to get this body, but if I ever find another rally body, mm, it's looking tempting. And let's flip it the other way so you guys can see the other way for those of you that own the Traxxas Rally. So for the Traxxas Rally, yes, it works. The body mounts in the rear to lower them down, but it works. 
it works as well. Quite a bit in the rear though. That body would just be hanging in the rear, but for the most part, it works guys. You can run it. We've done an overview of the Maverick Quantum R Flux. We've done a comparison between the Quantum R Flux and the Traxxas Rally in regards to the size difference. But we're gonna leave it here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell to get the latest notifications of the videos that we upload on the channel. This is Ready Set RC, signing out. Thanks again, guys.